Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool Amazon here, and basically what this is is a tower fan. If you see for the one that we got right here, it's a brand called Drio. And if you guys see my previous video, I should read a few other tower fans from this brand, ranging from standard version to Wi-Fi smart versions. For this one in particular, it's a non-smart version, so it does not allow you guys to connect it onto an app or Wi-Fi. Let me actually open up to show you guys what's included inside first. All right, so when you guys first open up, this is basically what the inside looks like. So it's all well protected and everything, but let's take everything out. So right here, we do have the tower fan, but there's some more stuff inside. So let's take everything out first. Next to right here, we do have the bottom of the feet. And then at the very bottom, you can see we do have everything else. So we do have like the user manual, we do have the remote control, and we do have the little screw for you guys to screw on the bottom. Let me take out all of them to show you guys what it looks like. So right here is the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. If you see on the instruction manual right here, they do show you guys how to use everything on here in terms of different buttons on your remote. Right here, we do have the screws for you guys to screw on the bottom of the feet. And then right here, we do have the remote control. So like I mentioned, we do have a power button, a mute button, a speed button, a bolt button, oscillating button, and also timer button. And if it's the first time you didn't product, you do want to peel out the little strip in the bottom before you can start using it. So that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now let's assemble the product to show you guys how to set it up and show you guys how to use it. So we're gonna to need to use this screw right here for the bottom part, but take this out first. So once you guys take out the bottom part, here is basically what the bottom part looks like. And here's the bottom. Now let's take out the fan. So I'm see for the top part of the fan right here is all his wrapped up. So that way it doesn't get any scratches when you guys first get it. And then right here in the back, you can see we do have some tape. So I don't take these off as well. Once you guys take it out, now I can put it together. So when you guys set the bottom part, you basically want to put these two plates together. So just like this. Once you guys put it in, you guys can put this on top. And when you guys do put it on top, you guys want to make sure this side right here has a cable sticking out. So just like this. Once you guys got that set up, you guys can put the screws on. So there should be a total of four screws on here. All right, once you guys got it on, you guys can fix the cable and bond right here. And once you guys do that, then you guys can put it down and start using it. Right here on top is basically what the product looks like. So you basically have the same button that's on remote control. And then right here in the back, and you see we do have a slot for you guys to put your hands through. So that way you guys can carry around really easily. And the way how to design the back part right here, they do have a little slot for you guys to put in the remote. So just like this. So that way remote control is always organized and that way it has no where it's at every single time. But now let's plug in the cable to show you guys how it works and what the product looks like when you guys do use it. All right, so we got it all plugged in. Let's test it out to show you guys how it works. So I'm gonna take out the remote first. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna peel out the bottom part here and now I can start using it. So if you guys do turn it on, that basically turns on the product. If you guys wanna change the different speed, this is low, this is level two, level three, four and back to one so then here when you guys turn level one it is really quiet but if you guys turn it to level four it's actually pretty loud and when you guys do feel it it actually feels pretty powerful and like i mentioned if you guys want to change the different mode there's basically three different modes available there's natural there's normal and there's a sleep mode and if you guys want to turn on the oscillating option that basically turns it on and that way it moves left and right so that is how far it goes that way. And that is how far it goes that way. So it gives about like 90 degree angle when you guys do use it. And if you guys want to turn on the timer option, you do have the option available. And for this product, like I mentioned, it does have a mute option. So if you guys do mute it, if you guys change different speed on here, it doesn't make that beeping noise anymore, which is pretty nice. But let's bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what it looks like from up close. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like from up close. So right here, it shows you guys the temperature in your room. Right here at the bottom, it shows you guys the different speed level. If you guys press right here, that's one, two, three, and four. If you guys press right here, that changes the different mode on here. And if you guys want to turn on the oscillating option, you guys want to press right here. And that basically moves it left and right. And like I mentioned right here, we do have a timer option. So the max is 12 hours. And right now, I show you guys that it is mute. So if you guys want to unmute it, now it's unmute. And I believe for the screen on here, when you guys do use it, it does have an auto shut off option. So after a certain amount of time, the screen will turn off by itself, especially when you guys do turn on sleep mode option. So you see the product definitely does work and it's very easy for you to use it. And if you guys notice when you guys do use a product, it's actually very stable. It does keep it in that position when you guys do use it. And like I mentioned in the back part right here, we do have a little handle for you to carry around really easy as well. 
But obviously once you got it done, you just turn it off and put the remote in the back. So that way everything is all organized and that way it's used again when you guys need to use it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this tower fan, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these warranties especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality tower fan. They basically give you guys the same feature of functionality as any other tower fan out there in terms of different speed level, the oscillating option, the timer option, the mute option, and so much more. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or happy one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.